Okay, guys, I am back. So I am going to try to get my guest on from here. And um, hopefully we can get Dennis on. So I am back. So we're trying this again. We're trying it again. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming back on. So let's see what happens if I can get him on. Hopefully we will be able to get Dennis on. Okay. All right, let's see. All right, Dennis, if you're on, try again. I already sent you the invite and see if you can join. Okay, all right. Okay, I think I think we got it. <clears throat> For some reason, I don't know why um, my phone. Hey. Hey, there we go. I had to. I had to go. I, I, I don't know what happened. Like I, because I have two different phones with the same page but this one that i was on wouldn't allow it so i don't know but so i had to go off and come back on but it's all good how are you doing fine miss donna it's been a while how you been doing i know merry christmas happy new year all in one because i haven't seen you <laughs> in a it, minute it's been a minute but same to you though same to yeah you. so thank you for taking the time out to join hot topics with donna and um right. the word that i chose for you today was faith you know because i always choose a word for my guests, and I chose faith, and um, it comes from Ephesians 2, 8, and 9, and it says, for it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourself, it is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast, and I chose that word for you because I know you are a man of faith, you know, because you know, when we hang out, your spirit speaks a lot, even when you don't say a lot. That's just who you are. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of it's like when you know people and you and spirits know spirits, you know that there's something special about you. Because I met you, God, it was. Um, when we're doing, we're doing a little fast shoot, I think Lake Johnson or somewhere. Yeah, I think. and that's been. Yes. I don't even know how long. That's been a long time. And mm. then I still, you know, am grateful to work with you, you know, whenever I have a chance because I've been kind of out of the scene. I just told Shonda we got to get together and do another shoot because that's the last time I think I shot with you when we did that shoot. And that's been, what, two years ago? Yeah, over at the Union Station, yes. yes. Yeah, um, two years ago, yeah. So, yeah. but... I'm going to just get right into it. So tell people who you are, where you reside, and then we're going to get on into, I got some questions for you. I got some um, quotes um, that you posted. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, just, um, Dennis George, born and raised in Smithfield, North Carolina, in Clayton now. Um, I've been shooting for hey, about eight years now. Um, um trying to well of course i'm going to continue to shoot that's my that's my little outlet or whatever right. but, but at the same time just trying to keep climbing and keep trying different things and stuff whatever um i just enjoy it but other than that i'm just everybody know i'm just dennis george i just try to have fun in life and right people, i mean try to let them have fun too or whatever i just like positive energy so you know amen to that yeah so i um I was going to ask you that question, how long you've been shooting. But your favorite quote is, it is what it is. And you know, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was like, yep. That is. And sometimes it be like that, you know. Hey, Lynetta, thank you for tuning in. But yeah, so, and then you wrote a post before I even get into the questions, because I have your post you wrote. On January 10th, you posted, Rock Bottom would teach you lesson mountaintop never will yeah and it so can you, can you explain that because when i saw it i was like hmm yeah uh, yeah well i'm gonna go back to it is what it is real quick yeah um, uh, yeah i've said it a lot and i still do say it but i did have a friend kind of kind of correct me on that a little bit 
Um, right. Because it, it, it makes it sound like that you really can't change, make change anything that comes your way. And you can. Right, but, right. Um, sometimes I do. Hey, Sheena. Accept things right. for what they are. I accept people for who they are. Because some people right. change. They're going to be who they're going to be. Right. Um, and, you know, that's, that's understandable. Because everybody are how they grew up some, somewhat or whatever. They, they got their own lives and everything. But um, as far as rock bottom teaching you more than being on top um teaches you a lot teaches you like to the point of where your who your friends really are right it, it teaches you that um sometimes we put ourselves up higher than we, what we are and everything like that and it kind of humbles well, you and if it, it will humble you <laughs> <laughs> sheena said sheena said hey she on here hey how you doing <laughs> Oh, thanks, Miss Michelle. We're back. We had some technical difficulties, but we're back. But you know, Dennis, um, Sheena said who he said who you can depend on or not. And sometimes I feel like like you said, sometimes people get so up there or even it doesn't matter how we was raised or whatever, we have to have the mindset that we want to change. We want to be better than our situation. Mm. You, you you feel me so yeah, we, cause, i mean change 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 always falls on that individual um yourself and like next said, just go back a little bit to rock bottom um it, te it does teach you how strong you can be also yes. but, but i mean you can't you can help people out i can be helped out and everything people can, i can be at this point at that point but at the same time no matter how many people come to help me it's always up to me to make that change that needs to be changed exactly, exactly. And so do you do you think people that don't want the change, the individual don't want the change? Do you think they just want to be stuck so they can always have an excuse? Oh, well, this is how I am. I don't want to change. Do you think that's why a lot of times we don't want to change because we want to have that excuse to say, oh, well, I'm fine this way. Some some people. Some people are they they they're just stuck right there and they're satisfied, they're comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. So they're to change um, because I mean you, you you know I used to have fears and everything and I still mm -hmm. do, but um it's for, okay as far as photography wise, um, mm -hmm. creative now, but man I used to be scared to try new things <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> I mean those little creative thing I used to be so scared um, to do things, but. You know, I've had I've met a lot of photographers and models, and mm -hmm. just just out, you know, and doing other things that that have helped me along the way and talked to me, and got me to realize stuff. And once I realize stuff and things, and you know, you know, you sit back in silence and you be like, you know, you know, they were right. You really got to you know keep moving forward. There's no need right. to stand by and just let life pass you by and just defeat you. And when you do have a fighting chance, so. Yeah, and Shana said, never forget who helped you along the way, and those blessings will come, and when you're able to help ne the next person do it, pass it, pay mm -hmm. it forward. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's how it works, man. That's, that's, that's how growth works. I mean, like you said, never forget the people that help you, helped you, um, and then, like you said, when you help somebody else, because that's where, that's where a lot of strength comes from. That's where just helping other people. Um, right. Not always about self. And everything right. but like like photography wise um there could be some jealous people that be like you know i'm not gonna teach them teach them mm -hmm. whatever mm -hmm. I've, had, I've, had, I've had people ask me for help and i don't mind helping me matter of fact i don't i, I would love to see them even bypass me or whatever because right right like I, people if you bypass me offer my help and everything like that all i'm gonna do is ask you to help me now now and stuff like that <laughs> I know, and Miss um, Miss Michelle, one of our guests on there, she said, or um, she said, or they don't know how to change because they don't know their strength. Yeah, yeah, and and and, and sometimes, sometimes that goes back to the rock bottom. Sometimes it takes falling all the way down to get f so frustrated with. Um, I don't want to say failing, but it just takes it. It takes hitting rock bottom sometimes for to make people jump up and just like that's enough and I'm gonna keep doing this and I'm gonna keep doing that because I mean you at the bottom you ain't got nothing going for you no more and you mm -hmm. start climbing and climbing and climbing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. how you felt back then and you ain't right. going to go 
but it's gonna keep make you keep grinding and grinding. But do you feel sometimes because I know what it's like to be at the bottom. I don't been there, you know, mm -hmm. and then you know, and I know, you know, I've had failures, I've had shortcomings, but because you know, the grace of God and you know my support system. I learned how, like you said, you build yourself back up. And when you do that and you trust God to do it, man can't take credit, you know, for that. Mm -hmm. And when we continue to climb, you know, as Sheena and them say, we have to reach back and grab other people and say, come, I see you, instead of being divided, you know, and then that leads into your next post when you was talking about when people are doing positive and they're having fun, you know, let people do what they want to do without trying to criticize what they're doing. If it's making them happy and they're not hurting anyone and they're mm -hmm. being positive, we should, you know, we don't, we shouldn't be um, in their business. You know, and, and that's the thing. Some, I'm, I'm, some people, we or whatever, um, we we get in that habit. Sometimes we don't realize we're doing it, but mm -hmm. we want to show somebody else what they doing and how they should do it or whatever but if those same people come back and tell us hey do this do that now we don't want to listen or whatever right. but not if it's not harming anybody harming mm -hmm. you whatever mm -hmm. they're gonna go skydive if that person wanting to go surfing in a ocean full of sharks or whatever i mean that's their thing let them do it you know right, that, right. their life you only got one life to one. live one. So, you know make it make it worth it um have fun mm -hmm. with it of course, you're gonna have we all gonna have our ups and downs or whatever, mm -hmm. but try to have a joyful life as much as possible. I mean, why not? Um, I had been I had to be told that same thing pretty mm -hmm. much recently or whatever. So there are things that um on my life to start, you know, just living a living a little right. bit more have been or whatever. So, you know, you know, I, I listen to a lot of people and everything. A lot of people encourage me to do a lot of things, stuff like that. And it's there's strength in numbers. And stuff. So that's what we just go back. Um, when, when you say say um, you know, when you help other people and everything yeah. like that, or they help you climb, go back, make sure they're good. Mm -hmm. And I mean, so much stuff can get done in unity. It, you're right because you know I feel like we live in a world where everyone can win. It doesn't matter, you know, what if somebody else is doing a podcast i'm doing a podcast we can change notes to see how i can tweak mine you can tweak yours just like photography you know you are friends with charlie and roger and all of these guys you know and you guys always co collaborate together to see hey what can we do you know and when we did that shoot i was freshly just freshly into the photo shoot because i was like <laughs> <laughs> and I was just so nervous, but you encouraged me. Okay, just you got this. Because sometimes when you have insecurities because you're stepping out of a realm that you've never been in, and when you have people like you and like Charlie and like Roger, them say you got this, you start to have confidence in who you are, you know. Yeah. And that day to see you guys, you know, photographers, encourage all the ladies, the models that came out. That was a wonderful thing. And I think, you know, it's about time for us to do another one because it was, to me, it was very successful. We had a good time. Every woman, I think, felt really good about who they were because they got to be in front of somebody else's camera with a different mm -hmm. perspective of how they saw them. Yeah, yeah, I mean, and I still get nervous too. Man. I still get nervous. Every, every shoot still, I still get nervous. I'll be like, I'm like, dang, I'm about to miss or something gonna go wrong or whatever. But right. the thing is, I push myself, I, I make myself do it. Right. And the reason for that, you know, um, it's okay to be nervous. It's okay to be scared mm -hmm. or whatever, mm -hmm. but go ahead and do it. Me, myself, once I get into a flow and the vibe is good, that makes a big difference in my shoots and stuff. If the vibe is good, we can cut up, laugh, joke or whatever. Right, right. <laughs> For 30 minutes, it don't matter to me as long as the vibe is good. Right. Um, shoot is gonna be good, and and that 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 kind of smooth it gets it makes everything go smooth. And right. Off. But how do you handle difficult client? If you you know if you shoot if you get a client and you don't know like if they're kind of like standoffish and don't talk, how do you as a photographer break the ice to say you know it's okay to relax so we can I mean get this shoot done so 
how does that change you as a person? Because I know you have a sense of humor, but if you have a client that's just like, well, look, we come to do the shoot. How do you get them to relax to trust you so you can get, or should I say, they can get the finished product they want from you? Um, me, like my clients and stuff. I mean, most of them know me anyways. But I mean, I just start off, you know, just a smile. Man. A smile goes a long way. Yeah. Um, yes. Do a little joke, and I tell them quick, and if they don't, don't take me seriously, and if I they right. don't. And I try to feed off of their vibe, see how they're doing and everything. Um, if they if they, if they come and they're not ready and this and whatever, mm -hmm. I might throw a little joke or something like that. Just try to get a feel for them to see what makes them smile. There's always something. It, right. So, so, you know, I haven't, I don't think I've ran into one yet that just like, man, just hurry up and shoot this so I can go. I, I really read, ran into that yet, but I mean, if I do, it's, it's going to be challenging. I, I got faith in myself. <laughs> that, that <I> do. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so you said you've been shooting for eight years. So what what prompted Dennis to want to be a photographer? Was it from early childhood or something you just dabbled in, you know, every now and then? Man, it, like. Okay, I mean, I've always loved pictures, and if pictures of me just memories, and I love them. I mean, I can right, get one picture right. every whole day. But when I first picked up a camera and decided, I was actually when my job was working out of town, working in Leland. Mm -hmm. And there was a whole lot of alligators out there and stuff like that. And I, I like alligators, so but I, ain't, I know I ain't <laughs> so I got I had got this point shoot camera, like a Canon right. fifty something like that, something that long range I can shoot and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I just, I just, you know, I started shooting this, shooting this images and shoot that images. Matter of fact, if you go back to like the very first pictures on this page right here, you can see pictures of dragonfly, alligator, blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah, 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 stuff. And that's what I started off with. And then um, I just started doing a little research and this and that, whatever. And um, nervous as I don't know what. The very first, because in Leland, there were some people that would, mm -hmm. they had little networking groups and stuff like that. And I remember I was going back down. I got in contact with one of them, and um, his name was Bruce Bruce Evans, um, and which he he passed a few years ago. But um, he was the first thing he was the first photographer that I met. I think when we were out there at the um, the um, USS Carolina, mm -hmm. when, um, I sat in my car for like fifteen minutes to watch them because I was scared and everything to get out because I was like, hey, I don't know what I don't know what in the world I'm doing, <laughs> but it's. Like, when I got out, I talked to him and everything like that, and I just started shooting and stuff like that. Matter of fact, then on my Instagram, then do a photography Instagram, those pictures mm -hmm. are still up. I won't take them down because it shows me how far I've came. Come. Wow, yes. And everything. But, you know, after that, I mean, it's just, I started having fun with it. It's like when I started shooting, just like now, when I start shooting, it's like any issues that's going on in the world or whatever, mm -hmm. they can mm -hmm. And so I don't even think about it no more. I just think about right, right. Uh, and all that. I'm just having a great time. Right. So, and everything. But I mean, it's it's a whole lot of different reasons and stuff like that. But I mean, that's just something that I'm glad I found. And you know, I don't see myself stopping. Yeah, Sheena said, "Wow, that's a testimony and a blessing." And it's good when, like you said, when people can feed you, if you will, <laughs> to be better. And and one of the questions I was like, "How do you?" Um, educate yourself to to continue to get dope shoots because you be and this is the thing and you pretty much know me you know I'm kind of like kind of I stay in the box but you know as I get as I'm getting older mm -hmm. I, I want to try different stuff you know when we did that you know power you know the power shoot that was so awesome but you know i'd be looking at these laundromat shoes and you know i was like well i i, I might can do that but yeah. but it's getting the confidence to do that but um just like i said earlier just just do it um it's, it's like i said you're gonna get nervous especially with new things people get nervous with new things people a lot of people a lot of people don't like changes and new things or whatever but if it's on your mind to do it and you're able yeah. to do it i mean ask yourself why not Yes, Shonda said I could do it and Sheena said she's learning more about you. Uh, she said not older Donna, aging gracefully man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you but I'm going to tell you what like 
Sheena and Shonda, like when you can shoot with dope models, that's what that's when you can get great shots. When you know, and I know you've been with you know photo shoots where models it's always like it's a competition but when you can meet true sisters and you can take pictures that's when you see the sisterhood when the finished product it comes mm -hmm. yeah. yeah i'm gonna tell you real quick just coming that word competition me personally in my opinion it mm -hmm. needs to be dated from photography and modeling or whatever mm -hmm. um that, me in my opinion that's where some people can mess up i mean it's okay to have a have a a competition where a friendly competition i'm saying like right, that right 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 when you're competing when you're, competing, you're when you are competing <laughs> I, I went straight over that word but anyway when you're competing to, to try to be better than this person that person right. whatever kind of screws you up um i don't i don't compete in my photography right um, because i'm not better than anybody right i know i know my worth um, right, right. When, when it used to be, I'd be like, uh, I'd, be looking at, I'd be looking at pictures. Like, uh, hey, go on. They'd be like, they'd be like, I like that, and I'd be like, uh, what you looking at? But now, <laughs> hey, I'm a good photographer. I'm a dope photographer. I love my works. Um, I love where I where I come come from. But for for the most part, what makes a good shoot is just the, it's just the vibe, man. Just the energy. If everybody got good energy and just flow with it, I mean, it's going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so when you go shoot a client or a model, do you look at them first to kind of see what angle you want to shoot them from? You know, because they always say everybody got a good side, or whatever. Do you always try to figure out what angle is going to be best and mm -hmm. suggest to them, you know, like, let's shoot from this side or that side? Um not really i don't and i probably some people probably don't just look at me crazy like that but right man, right everybody got always doing stuff oh yeah absolutely it's like it's like okay depending say if we shooting outside or whatever um mm -hmm. I, I, it, to me i kind of look outside first see what the environments look like first um i don't really ask clients what's your good side like that right because i don't want them to think that well, if I turn this way, I want to try this, but if I turn this way, and I'm told right. this. Right. Yeah. Uh, I want them to be comfortable with all 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 of themselves, all of themselves, whatever. So and I just kind of go off the environment and just try to fit them into it um in a creative way if if possible. And um and like I said, if if they're cool with it and having fun with it, mm -hmm. or whatever. Um and it just it just goes like that, really. Whatever, so, so do you prefer shooting outside versus inside? I like shooting both, of course. Um, to, to tell you the truth, I kind of like shooting inside more now. Okay. Um, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I still do love to shoot outside. And right. Whatever, ever since, because I, I'll shoot some in my apartment, you know, um, whatever. So, and I just, I just find myself lately, um, it's like I can, I can. I can shape the light more like I want to. I don't have to work against the sun or um, if it's outside, if there's people, foot traffic, car traffic or whatever, I don't have to worry about it, any of that. And so it's like right. I'm in or, or whatnot. Um, so, but I think, I, I mean, of course, I'm still going to shoot outside. And I think I still have a lot of concepts in mind that I want to shoot outside and stuff like that. So, but I think for right now, I like inside better. So when you get together and you collaborate, because I just saw you did a collaboration with Bay Mitchell, and I haven't seen him in a mm. minute. So how do you and your photographers get together to collaborate to get together? And do you always have a concept, or do they come and say, "Hey, I have this concept. Let's you know, let's do this." Yeah. Well, sometimes I mean, if we just talking, I mean, we just be talking about regular stuff or some or whatnot. Um, right. And I could be like, well, you know what? I'm, I got this time. I'm gonna do this, whatever. And they might be like, you know what? I've been thinking the same thing or whatever. So I'm like, you know, hey, come, 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 shoot with me and everything. And um, and if Donald Dean is watching this, man, I swear we're gonna get together this 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 year. Cause um, me and some so, few photographers have been talking about getting together and just haven't been mm -hmm. done. So is that um, another photographer in Raleigh? Um, he's actually in Rocky Mount. Oh, okay, okay. So, and, uh, so I'm just 
it just it's, it's a few, few photographers this year that I would love to work beside, um, even if it's just uh, to assist and stuff. Because I learn a lot just by watching. Also, right. so um, I don't always have to shoot because sometimes sometimes it's good to sit back and, and watch or whatever. Yeah, absolutely. And stuff. So you know. Yeah. So how would you describe Dennis shooting style? How would you describe your shooting style? Mm, do I have a style? <laughs> style? I don't know, man. It's like, it's like, okay, I'll see. I kind of see. Right. I want to see, like I visualize how I want the end mm -hmm. photo. Mm hmm. I try to shoot around that, and then I then I, I go to the model, be like, okay, boom, we, we shoot it like this or whatnot. Um, so I, it's like I look at the finished product product first before I start shooting and everything like that. I try to get out of just trying to shoot hundreds of pictures, hundreds of pictures, and everything like that. Um, right. Be able to just shoot maybe fifty or something that whatever, and then just have you know good quality shots or whatever. Right. And how long and how long does it take you to edit pictures? Because I know some photographers they'll they'll do three, four, five, six shoots and then you're still trying to go back and edit the first shoot. So how how is your editing style? Do you do a shoot and then try to edit them within one to two days or you do multiple shoots and then I, try to edit them all at one time? No, nah, I won't do them in one, two days. I could tell you that. <laughs> but, and quite 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 lately I've been I've been slower than I, I want to be. So I'm I'm trying to get me a different right. flow I can get them back. And that's another reason that I try not to take so many pictures. Because I don't right. want to you got to sit there and you got to go through two hundred pictures or whatever. Wow. That right. right there stuff. And then it's like when you go and um start editing photos mm -hmm. um and then you're trying to edit 25 30 50 pictures mm -hmm. and look good or whatever it's tiresome stuff like that so if i can get five ten, i'm gonna say five to ten pictures or whatever i'm good but um i try to i try to get them in a week right uh, in a couple of days i might share one or two with you so you mm -hmm. have but if i can if i can get my time down to a week right you know, whatever, depending on my work schedule and anything cause I, I do a lot of stuff or whatever but um right. I try to get hey back. Richard, Richard just popped up. But let me ask you this: who, who, who has influenced you the most in photography since you've been in it? Uh, does it have to be a photographer or model? No. Hey, really? I listen. My mom and my aunt. Mm -hmm. my, my aunt and my uncle. They used they used to be in photography deep. Um, they do weddings, events, and everything. Right, right. Uh, um, and I watch them um so that 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 helped me too but then it's like if you look on a lot of my posts if i post a picture you're going to see either my mom and my aunt they're going to comment on them and everything like that whatever right. and they they always telling me like look you're doing great you're doing good don't stop don't stop and everything like that and i love to see my mother and my aunt smile i love i love, I love that's awesome that's I, awesome so, because you know when people know us personally like that you know that gives us the incentive to to do better and want to be better you know mm -hmm. it's um hey richard thanks for tuning in and you know like when just like when i started this hot topic you know when god gave it to me i had no idea where it was going to go but like you when you have people in your family you know saying hey i see you i i watch you that makes you want to go even harder yeah, it you know, does. Because you know that they are proud of you because when you can see where you started and then where you have evolved and you're still evolving, that, that means a lot. Yeah, that it means really a lot. Even if no outside people give you the accolades, but when you're family. Mm, yeah, it really. And not taking away from other photographers and models. Yes, absolutely. When when I'm shooting and I show yeah, you know, this really this really touches my heart now. Like I look for reactions. So I might show a model or something a picture, and they'd be like, "Oh wow, whatever." Man, that messes my that pumps me up, and if I didn't, right, I, right, if they, if because, they like, <laughs> because they don't know. Because I'm telling you, I I get that feeling too. Because like when I first start shooting with Roger, and mm -hmm. he took a picture of me, and then he showed it to me, I was like, 
wait, is, is, yeah. is that me? And he's yeah. like, yeah. And so <laughs> then I had took Richard, I took pictures with him. But every time you see pictures, like when we did the shoot, you know, at the train, it's like, wow, like, is this really me? And you know, it's not that you're saying that you're not attractive or whatever, but when you see yourself in a still picture, it's like, oh. Wow, it's like, wow, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah for me, I hate being in front of a camera, though. I can't see. He I said, if he ever I... stop, I'll beat him. <laughs> Richard, the first photographer that I down, down around, around the way like that, um, mm -hmm. Walmart one time. I recognized because he had a mohawk. He didn't know who in the world I was and everything like that. But you know, I said what's up to him and everything, told him what was and everything. Right, like that. right. But Richard, um, he told me one thing that I, I'll never forget. Um, we were shooting, and I and that's when I was always just nervous, 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 or whatever. Right, was, right. Um, I want. I, I wonder how. I wonder how this turn out if I do this, if I do that, and just mm -hmm. like just, mm -hmm. you know, or whatever. And he did cuss me out. One, fuss me out one. Um, <laughs> pairing my work to other photographers, right, and, right, and so so he got on me about that too, and he was right. So mm -hmm. you know, I, I'm inspired by a lot of other photographers' work and everything I use for, for inspiration, but I don't compare myself to it anymore or whatever because everybody's different. So, and she even said, Richard' favorite line is "Just trust yourself." Damn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But, you know, and we have to, you know, and that's and that's where I'm learning, even doing, you know, this, I, I have to learn to trust myself, you know, because I'm not in competition with anybody. Every time I come on, I'm nervous. And that's like when people say, what are we going to talk about? I'm going to talk about you. you. And so because I want people to see that everyone started somewhere. Yeah. Everyone mm -hmm. started somewhere. Everyone started at the bottom. Everyone, you know may not have had a silver spoon in their mouth so they already on the top but even when you're on the top sooner or later you have to come back down so you can build your way back up so it, you can know how to be humble and not be so prideful yeah and so that, that he pride, said, hey man you can't tell everything <laughs> tell everything richard now we ain't supposed to tell everything richard to tell. but but you know you i mean and you just have to know um um, Lynetta said she did enjoy shooting with you. Um, I'm trying to see. I can't see my lights kind of. Can you see on your side? Mm. The first time she was shooting, she said you made sure that she um, was comfortable. Okay, and yeah. Had, yeah. I have my rules when I shoot, and it, they're very simple. Um, if one, if I make you feel, if you're uncomfortable in any type of way, it don't matter. I don't care if I'm, we trying to set up a shoot and trying to, I'm trying to take 10 shots, trying to get it right. If you're uncomfortable, say something that does not offend right. me. Uh, for the most part, have and have fun. I mean, those really my main two rules or whatever. Just, you know, mm -hmm. I want because if you're uncomfortable, it's going to show and everything like that, and it's going to drag the shoot down. And, uh, and like I say, it's just going to show in the pictures or whatever. So I definitely want them to be comfortable and I want them to trust me to be able to shoot with them again. Um, I, haven't right. met, I don't, I don't, think off the top of my head that I've met a model that I wouldn't want to shoot with again. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. I'm sorry. One. <laughs> <laughs> One. But, uh, well, yeah. but we're not going to call. You, I don't uh, want you calling no names, but I just need to ask you this. Uh, was it because uh, was it because they was very confrontational or just didn't want to take directions as to how you wanted to get this shoot done um, that, it, it was pretty much everything about them was negative um as far as even talking about the other models um you know how they're doing their thing when it had nothing to do with them and this and that whatever right. it, it was just a whole negative vibe or whatever. Um, I can't really can't explain, go into detail with everything, right, but right, right. To me, it's just it. It wasn't. I don't like being around that because it, it drags me down, and I can't be right. around that. Absolutely. Who's not to shoot with that? And Richard said, "Everybody has to realize um, art has no rules." It doesn't. It doesn't. Um, and I and. And I'll, I'll say this and everything like that. And I, if, if anybody shoots it and takes it and says it, that's fine. I don't care. Um, 
if I have an idea and you shoot it before me, I mean, that's fine. I, I don't care because everybody's going to be different. But I want to shoot something. I want to shoot a concept that doesn't make any sense. It's something right. that doesn't add up or whatever. That's going to be the, pretty much the theme of it or whatever. Right, um, right. And they don't even, they, even the environment don't even go with it. Stuff. Just something like that. I mean, art, like you said, art has no rules. I mean, there's no boundaries. Everybody's right, right. So how do you come up with your concepts, though? Do the models come up with it, and then you just say, okay, we're going to go along with it, or do you just mm -hmm. sit home and come up with... I could be listening I, listen, I could be listening to a song, mm -hmm. and hear, like, one word in it, and it don't, the concept that pops in my head has nothing to do with the song, or the words, I don't know, it's, just, it's strange, or a movie, or a book, um, anything. Right. A water bottle or something like that. I, don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, anything, I mean... And I mean, a lot of times I do, I be on Pinterest and everything like that, whatever, right. and I, I concepts that I like, and I try to recreate them or whatnot. But for the most part, I have a book. Hold on. Okay. Guys, thank this. you for tuning in with Dennis George here on Hot Topics with Donna. Hot stands for honest, open, and transparent. And that's what we do, interview ordinary people doing extraordinary things in their lives and in their communities. So thank you all for just tuning in tonight. And I appreciate y'all being here, too. But I had this book right here. I won't mm -hmm. open it up, but I got this book one time, and it's like I keep this book with me for the most part. Uh -huh. um, and ideas pop in my head. And so like, is like, it like a journal? So it is. Um, and I just I write my ideas down. Uh, there, there's some little drawings in there, this and that, and just some of everything. It, it's a mess, and if it, it's a big mess, but I get it. I understand it. So that's you understand? Yeah, that's how I can say you understand it. Yeah. So, what makes your pictures? What do you think make your pictures stand out? What 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 is your signature that your pictures to make your pictures stand out? Mm. I don't really stand out. I don't. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't know. I don't. I mean, I don't. I, I don't know. Um, I can't really answer the question. I guess I don't know. I really don't know what makes it stand out. It's just. I don't know. Is it the energy from it or whatever that people get from it? I don't. I don't know. Um. Um. Just that's, that's that's me. Energy, 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 energy is is. I mean. Right. It's just pretty much. It. I can't put it in any words or something like that. Whatever. Right. But. Um. Or maybe maybe people see me do this or do that, and then mm -hmm. I do something different. Maybe they just mm -hmm. like. Oh shoot! Look at that. I'm like that. I'm like, yeah, I got that. Now I'm playing. But uh, <laughs> but I don't know what really makes it stand out. That's something that I would love to um get yeah. answers from. So yeah. so guys, if you have shot with Dennis or if you've seen his work, I mean, like, shoot him an inbox and let him know what you know makes his you know photos stand out. So who inspires you the most, or, or should I say, what inspires you the most to keep pushing? in photography because i know sometimes photography can be up and it can be down mm -hmm. but even if it's up or even if it's down what keeps you grounded and rooted to stay you know connected to you taking photos creativity just just being being able to create just just create right. and to make others happy you know um like I, said, I ran into a lot of people that that it make, photography makes happy, and I, I like people around me to be happy. So yes, I, yes. I, I, it makes me happy to be able to put it in towards somebody else. But other than that, other than that, it's just I mean, it's create creativity, and then it's just like memories. Period. I right, mean, right. Said earlier, you know, you can you could be sitting in the house having your saddest day or happiest day, whatever mm -hmm. mood. But it's nothing to take take a photo album or something, whatever. Or in today's age, uh, scroll yes. through the phone. I'm gonna take. I mean, I ain't, I'm born seventy eight, so take a photo album, sit back and look at it, yes. and pick out one picture and just think about that whole day or whatever, and just forget about whatever got you down or whatever, or just whatever. If you're happy, get you happy, make you happier, or whatever. But um, it's just a lot of things that keeps me going with photography, but. And even, part. like you said, even when you are sad <clears throat> and you, do you allow your photography to get you back where you need to be? Mm, yeah, or, do, I, or, or do, or is it a push, if you will? Because, you know, sometimes that people like to write or people just like to 
sing or some people like to take a bubble bath sometimes it takes that extra mm to get you to that place where you can be in your happy space yeah i mean photography is, is definitely my 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 way back pulling me back and stuff um mm -hmm. i might have a bad day i might go walk downtown raleigh with a camp with my camera and everything or whatever and um i might take a picture of something i might not i might take a picture of one thing or several things i don't know right, right. something about you know just having a camera in your hand and just walking I, I throw my airpods on i might listen to some jazz or some hip-hop or whatever and i'm in my own i'm in my own world or whatever right. so it just you know brings me back to you know to a happy place and so when you start doing your photography and all the should i say the life cares of the world everything that's going on did COVID, you know affect how you had to restructure you know taking pictures and getting with other models you know because of you know the safety issues so, that they may have concern or you may have concern um for the most part y'all don't kick me for that i mean um like when i shoot in my apartment and everything like that i mean yes it does you know, concern me a little, little bit but you know i, I still shoot you know like i know uh, i'm vaccinated boosting the, boosting the shot and everything like that i know that doesn't keep me from getting it, it right, just, right so but um i still i still shoot and everything like that but after everybody leaves anything like i do i do spray down and wipe down anything whatever um so if y'all get offended by that just don't come out no more no, i'm playing but, um, <laughs> that's what i do y'all leave and everything like that y'all yes i spray it down with light salt and everything like that I want to right right you know how you um have you ever seen that um the little meme how like when people go in the grocery store how you have the cart and how they have the spray when you go right. un, up under there somebody had posted you know when COVID first came out it was like they was in like going in the grocery store but the carts were pulled in but they mm -hmm. had sprinklers like you know when you go in the inside car wash uh -huh. so when they got the cart you know it like spread them <laughs> oh you know what that would be like a dope uh concept too but you know i i just feel like your work is phenomenal but let me ask you this i know everybody always um not everybody but most people have names for their um photography business so mm -hmm. you just use your name or you never thought about having I, a name or do you have a name well, now it's, right now it's dennis doing photography i'm keeping that and but when i first started and mm -hmm. i sat down sat down sat, and it was style and grace photography wow changed it from that because when when people shared the images and everything whatever they didn't know who unless they put my name to tag my name and for the most part i just want people to put my name on i want people to know who took the picture behind all that who's behind that teamwork of creating. right right um so i just just kept it simple and just dennis george photography yeah and that's like you know my son when i started this podcast you know i was trying to come up with a name you know and <laughs> and finally he said well why are you trying to find a name when you can just use your own name mm -hmm. you know true. he said and build your own brand because and how we got the hot my best friend um daughter's my goddaughter she couldn't say aunt donna so she always called me hot donna and so mm -hmm. that's how we got the hot and then that's how he turned it into honest open and transparent and so that's how Hot Topics with Donna came about because when I first started and people was like, oh, well, what is it going to be about? They thought it was going to be something steamy and, you know, I was like, no, but it, it's, you know, it's about building your brand. So I, I totally get it because if we take on another name, then people have to really research to see. Mm -hmm. To find out who you really are and everything it, so exactly yeah and it's good to have a catchy slogan and everything this and whatever i mean it's good don't i don't fault nobody for it or whatever yeah um, right it just it's it's all about what works for you um, and i think if you build in your brand if that's what you started with then that's what people are going to know you by mm -hmm. versus that's you true. trying to start something and then people gonna be like well who is this and so and that's just like even with donna taylor network it's like i have to get people used to being on this page instead of my you know personal page uh -huh. but you know it's, it's it's working but do you ever do weddings i've never seen or i could have mislooked you know do you ever do weddings or big um I, stuff like do, that i've been asked to do weddings 
Mm -hmm. Working construction, road construction. So my hours are always different. My schedule always changes. Right. So I know how important a wedding is. Exactly. And I don't, I don't want to be, my name is very, very important to me. Amen. Yeah. Very. Um, and I don't want to be that photographer that books a wedding and then my job tells me like, I did, or I got to work, man, do you know how bad it's going to make me look to tell that, yes. that, that yes. I can't make it. No, nah, I can't do that. So, so, I, so I in your defense, would you cancel the wedding and go to work or? Well, I would, this, cause the position that I have is like, it's like it's like I got to be there. Okay. Um, okay. If I were to book a wedding, I would let my foreman and everything know. But I look, you know, blah blah blah, this and whatever, and try to right. see if something out just in case, so they can get a replacement from another crew or whatever. Right. Um, but you know, um, but at the same time, I just, I, a wedding is so is such a big deal. It's so important that I really wouldn't even go through it because there's still a chance that. Regardless of that, if one day they might have somebody replace me, something changed with that person can't replace me no more. Then I got to right. stuff like that. So you know, my my first job was my first job. <laughs> I I get it. I I, I get it. And yeah, so somebody else. You, you have another quote, January fourth. It says, "I'd rather struggle for the rest of my life than to give anyone the power to say, um, you wouldn't have it if it wasn't for them." Yeah, people, man, people. <laughs> People will people will actually say that. See, I, if it, I, I know, I I know. They want you to owe them or something like that. It's like, yes, yeah, see now, if it wasn't for me, and uh, you wouldn't have been here. So let me let me borrow twenty dollars or something. <laughs> so, you know, don't do that to me and stuff, stuff because I mean, like, I, it, it's 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 wrong. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, but at the same time, there's nothing wrong with asking for help. Right. So, like, kids and everything, whatever. Um try to do as much as you can on your own mm -hmm. so when you do need it and people see you mm -hmm. people see you doing this and whatever and they're gonna step in to help you anyway mm -hmm. but don't, mm -hmm. don't constantly mm -hmm. just because things get hard hey will you help me out will you help me out will you help? nah go through it strengthen yourself just yeah. like it's yeah, to, to yeah. Feel more. and you know and that's why you know i chose faith you know for you too as well as me because you know you know losing my late husband that mm -hmm. that was truly a faith walk and you know when i saw that i was like that is powerful because when you know you've done it and you know god has helped you nobody can say oh well i helped you you know when you was down so mm -hmm. now i have to re you know i have to repay you because i feel like this if you help me help me from the heart don't help mm -hmm. me and you already have your own motives yeah, yeah. Because I mean, I'm not gonna forget those that help me, anyways. I mean, you really shouldn't even have to come up and tell me that. Um, if you know me, you know you shouldn't even have to come and tell me that. Right. But for you to come up to me, but and, and say a statement like that, it's gonna make me look at you differently. Um, right. Because it's like you know, your only motive, like you said, your only motives was to just to um get some of the benefits off of it, which I'm gonna pass right. some of it. And she just said that's begging, not help. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but don't do it. <laughs> Don't 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 help me out because you, you have a, a a hidden agenda. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And, I, and a lot of people do. I think a lot of people, and that's why we have to make sure the people that we go to has our best interest at heart from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Before you even get in a bind or 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 tight spot, we have to make sure they have our best interest at heart because then if they do then we know they won't have arterial motives because if you already know what i've been through where i've been and if i come to you you're not going to say well i'm gonna help her but but i'm mm -hmm. gonna see what she can give me later mm -hmm. or vice versa you know so we have to make sure that our motives are right when we help people because i feel like this if you help me and your motives are right I, you all I, I always got you Mm -hmm. but yeah. don't help me when you already have a hidden agenda yeah and, stuff. and that's why sometimes you just got to watch people listen to them and pay watch attention how to them. they move you know if they say <laughs> exactly because me if, I, if i'm around somebody new that i haven't met before if i'm around a crowd or something or whatever mm -hmm. i 
for the most part because I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there watching people mm -hmm. how they mm -hmm. how they react, how they move, how they talk, and this and that, whatever. Mm -hmm. it's important to me because you can't just open up to any and everybody like that. Um, right, so, right. Because there, there's people that um, I have met along the way mm -hmm. and stuff came out and I, I don't associate myself with them because, you know, like I said before, my name is very important to me. Amen. And, yes, yes. So you got to watch who you're around and who you deal with. And that, that's in anything. Anything. And that's like, you know, with me, I've worked so hard to build Hot Topics with Donna, you know, from day from day one, and can, and I'm still continuing to build it. And that's why even some places I won't go, some people I won't hang out with, because even if you're there, and you may be there just to support, but if anything goes down, your name going to go with it because you mm -hmm. you were there, you yeah. know. And Sheena, you, you right. God shows us as well. And so that's why I'm very particular about who I let in my circle, who who I connect my name to, because at the end of the day, I am my own brand and I, and I can't allow people to tarnish my brand. No, you can't, you can't. Yeah. It, once, yeah. once your name is tarnished like that, and it, it, you can't remove it, it's, it's, it's there. And people- <laughs> You might well go ahead and just do After hide. that, yeah, because no matter how good you do after that, mm -hmm. it's always going to be, it's always going to get brought up again. Well, yes. yeah, I, I remember when, remember this yes. And stuff, so I'd rather not even go through that. Yes, Sheena, we are our own brand. And then your quote on December 10th. I told you I was going, I go through <laughs> pages. <laughs> <laughs> I do. And then your quote said, if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. Yeah, that's true. And I was yeah. like, wow. Yeah, and, and that's powerful. That's within anything that we do. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, if everything goes smoothly and easy and this and whatever, I mean you're gonna you you're gonna you gonna, gonna keep right on walking doing the exact same thing you're doing. Same thing. I, lo I love a challenge. A ch challenges are fun, um, in a way <laughs> sometimes. So, so, well, yeah. yeah, but you know what? When you can be challenged and and get through it, then it becomes worth it. But if <laughs> everything you face and you always say, "Well, why are you doing this? Why are you challenging me?" then if you don't want the challenge, then everything you want, to me, you want it to be handed to you. Yeah, how, 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 how do you know how powerful you really can be if, if you don't accept the challenge? Just exactly. Find out. But like you said, if somebody handing stuff to you all the time, yes. you're not gonna appreciate it, you're not gonna be able to keep it. And um, exactly. at, one, at one point in your life, you're gonna have to move your own two feet and you're not gonna know how to, and it's gonna be devastating. Yes, it it's is. Devastating. Yeah, yes, so. it is. And do you find that even with grown men and women? But about the child, yes, yeah, everybody. It don't matter if you, from from a kid to a, to a, a eighty five year old man and your eighty five year old woman and stuff. It, it don't matter as long as you're alive. Um, you, you you're going to be challenged. Um, but the thing is, thing is, I'm gonna say this. The thing is about going through challenges and and pushing yourself to get through them. Is that somewhere along that line, you're going to meet somebody else that's going to need their encouragement, and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, it, it's better to get encouraged, encouragement in a situation from a person that's been through it yes. than somebody that, that hasn't been through it and trying to just tell you just stuff just to be talking. Right, what? right. And you know, and that's like me. You know, I tell people all the time when I'm on here, when I'm talking to y'all, I be talking to myself too because some days I need encouragement. Some days I don't have it all together and I don't profess to have it all together. Some days I don't like a challenge, but I know that through all my challenges in life, it has made me who I am today and it's going to continue to make me who I am today because I'm not afraid of a challenge. Yes, Do I right. like it? No, I don't. But uh -uh. it it makes you it makes you better. Mm -hmm. It does. It really does. And so in so many different ways. So don't be scared of, I mean, it's it fair to be scared, but don't, don't be so afraid where you, you're just going to either run the other way or just stay right. where you challenge overtake you and stuff like that. Go through it. And, um, defeat. I got a tattoo of the, of the, uh, a few weeks ago, um, uh, say, uh, conquer the day or yeah. whatever. Uh, and that, and that, that meant, that meant a lot to me and everything. Like, Cause I mean, every day, one day at a time on everything, um, uh, today, 
I was in the house. I hate being in the house, really. I was in the house. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, having plastic on my window, so I won't want to go outside and everything. And right. As I want to, but you know, you sit there in silence for a while. You're like, nah, man, you gotta do something. And everything. Like that. And I blew up some balloons and everything like that, and um, I put them in the tub and everything. Just took some pictures of them. And everything like that. I got some stuff in mind, or whatever. And I'm just just doing stuff like that. So, so to me, by the time I go to bed tonight, the day didn't beat me. I conquered right. my day. I didn't voidism, voidism, get up, um, overtake right. me or whatever. And I, I don't feel like I wasted my day. So tomorrow is a new day. So now tomorrow, I got tomorrow. Yes. And so. Sheena said, hearing it out loud, it makes a difference and praying about it, especially. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, and you know, and that's why we have to make the best of every day, every second, because, you know, I tell people this life right here, we got one shot. Just one. Either we're going to live it to the fullest or mm. we're just going to just just die in a lonely place. And, you know, and I always, you know, me and my girlfriend's talking and I said, you know, so many people have dreams, you know, want to do this and they allow people to talk them out of. And I said, what happens the day you get on your deathbed? Hmm. And then all this stuff come back to you and you say, God, why didn't I just listen to start this business or start writing or start shooting? Yeah. And then you you don't even now, hey, it's too late because you can't really check up out of here. Mm -hmm. And you did nothing but think that, well, I am content in this area. I'm content over here. But what about the purpose that he had you over here? And you just let it go to waste because if it don't challenge you it don't change you no it doesn't <laughs> so what happens and i'm like what what she just said right either you're going to do right or not you can't be both and so i'm like why why would we waste our lives not pursuing the gifts and talents that he placed in us and then when we get ready to, you know our number comes up that's too late. You can't do it now. Man, look, I want to sit. I want to sit back and dang on smile, be like, man, hey, hey, my last word, I did this and I did that. Yes, like, yes, I, absolutely. Yeah, like, so, you know. and, and you know, and that's that's me. And you know, and I tell people, and I would tell it to the day I check up out of here. You know, we used to always say, Sheila said, waste time and become complacent. Know your purpose. Find your purpose be around purposeful humans absolutely and that's why i tell people i encourage people that's what i love to do i want everybody to win whatever your purpose is hey if i have started something and you need to know how i did it you know whatever i don't mind sharing information and that's where we get caught up we don't want to share information to help other people get yeah. where we're at you know when i started my nonprofit for my young girls people was like well how did you do it where, what form did you use Hey, I will send it to you. Take a picture of it to make sure you get the right link. But some mm -hmm. people don't want to do that because, like you said, if you give me that information and if I exceed you, hey, great, because I still have to stay on my own path to get where God wants me to be. And so I tell people, you know, when my late husband passed away, and, you know, we always say this cliche, oh, life is too short, you know, life is too short. And I tell people, when you're facing death and when they say you have 18 months and you only live one month after they told you mm -hmm. that was my reality to say hey life is really too short because we thought he had 18 months but he only had one month mm -hmm. yeah so i don't have time to sit around and waste to say well i know if people if i do this people are not going to like me or whatever but i have to walk into my own purpose because when my numbers call i want to be able to say i truly enjoyed this life mm -hmm. that's it that's it you know yeah and um rob said light and darkness cannot exist together he said no more time for being lukewarm absolutely and so we just must walk into our purpose we whatever it is and i'm glad that you are still walking in yours you know even i know you probably had challenges that you may not want to continue to shoot you know? oh yeah I ch challenges i will say this too like that. i i do kick myself 
because if I you know, I want to hear him say good. Um, I want to hear him say that. Well done, my good and faithful servant. Yes, <laughs> Lord. <laughs> but yes. I take myself sometimes. Um, I I do truly believe that I could be in a higher place than I am now. But I, mm -hmm. I had a lazy moments and stuff like uh, a lot of them, too many of them. Right. Um, where I could, I should have been doing this, should have been doing that, but you know, I let distractions take me over and everything, whatever. So I mean, and that's normal, I, I guess. Yeah. But at the same time, um, now that I know that, mm -hmm. I to um, do better and keep right on doing what I need to do and yes. put faith <laughs> press. And some, and some of my friends are getting on me about a lot of stuff too and everything, what? and it, it, it's hurting and appreciated. So you know. And this is the thing, we sometimes we all have gotten complacent because one thing or another, but the thing about it is when we have people in our lives and when we have God saying, all right, I told you to be doing this, you need to be doing this, then we can continue to push forward. It's just, we cannot get stuck. And we're not, like you said, we're, we're not going to have terrific days all the time. You know, some days I'm like, I don't even want to do this, you know? Like they say, I don't want to adult today. Some days I just don't. But you have to. You have to just find a way to get that extra strength and say, well, you know what? Maybe if I take me a hot shower, I can I can perk back up. I can I can continue to move forward. But mm -hmm. sometimes we need that extra push from people that love us and care about us and say, girl, yeah. you got it. Guy, you got it. Man, you just, hey, what's going on? Yeah, yeah. But those are those are people that you need in your life that can see if Dennis is not shooting as much as he was. What happened? What what's going on? Yeah, mm -hmm. you those people, need those people. You need those we people. We do, we do, we need those people because I have girlfriends. If they don't hear from me in a couple of days, if I'm just kind of quiet, they will text me and be like, "Hey, what's going on? I haven't heard from you. Everything's good." And those are kind of people that we need in our life to continue to push us into our purpose. Mm -hmm. And that alone, that alone, just just to have somebody just to recognize that, yeah. but um, yeah, I mean, that that makes a difference in them saying, and we need to do the same thing to, to those same people too, not just receive. Exactly, um, exactly. And so, where do you see your photography going in the next year or two? In the next year or two, um, I'm having I'm having a website and everything up, and all that going together. I'm having have it um uh, fully functioning like it should should have already been um one thing that i would love to have um in the next two years or so um is a building of my own studio wow. i would love, love to have a studio um uh, but this didn't this 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 is this is something this listen i would love to um go on walmart or target wherever and I would like to see my pictures, some photos of me and the model that took the pictures. Uh, that's another thing. When I shoot, it's not just me; it's the model too. It's the right, model. right, right. But anyway, right. If I get off all off on the other side, but I would love to walk through and see my pictures that I've done, that we've done, um, just being advertised in some wow. of these or some of the magazines that you see that's in bar that's being sold in bar. Yes, those, yes. Those are some big dreams that i have right now and, also. You, and, and if you dream it i always tell people if you can see it you can achieve it yeah you can you, you can you you, you can yeah. and so until you stop um okay. you can call a thousand times whatever that one that you make just make everything happen for you, you make everything real and positive to you so failure failure doesn't exist um like i said right. unless you, you can stop and you know, just like me, I I desire my own television network. That that is my goal, and that's why it's called Donna Taylor Network. It's mm -hmm. already um, I already have my EI um, EIN number for that. So okay. you know, even you know, like with Roger, before um, I even birthed my nonprofit for young girls, he was like, okay, this is what you need to do because hey, you have this dream. He gave it to you, so now you need mm -hmm. to make sure. Even while you're in the process of building it, no one can take that name from you. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and so he helped me do all that. And that's why I don't mind giving it back to other people. And so, like I said, Donald Taylor Network already have, you know, have my number, but I have to still work the process. 
Okay, still got to work it. And I'm, 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 I'm gonna be sitting waiting long. If I'm alive and kicking, I'm gonna be seeing you make it up there like you wanted to. So next time I see you, I'm, I'm gonna get your autograph from you. <laughs> yes, yes. And you know, and like I said, I and, and it's so amazing when, like for me, having you on is giving back. It's showing people who you are, what you do to promote you even the more. Mm -hmm. you know, for your business, for your photography. And that's what this platform is about. It's, it's about interviewing ordinary people doing extraordinary things, but it's about letting people know that, hey, yeah, it's and... me to get to this place. I didn't get here overnight. I had some setbacks. But mm -hmm. if you work the plan, if you work your plan, whatever he's giving you, then you can still make it. That's true. You know, yeah. because we 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 fool our young people to think that all these celebrities already been at the top, but we uh, have to let them know that they've been at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And then when you get at the top, that's even more work. So you're going to have to keep right on working. Exactly, whether it's education or whatever it is. So mm -hmm. I that's my goal. So look, we'll both be getting each other autographed because you know <laughs> I I am truly believing God for it. I, because like I said, he, he gave it to me and I started this way. So this is how I'm doing it. But that, that's where I want to go. That's, that, that, we, that's the direction I want to go. You putting in the work you're doing, like you're doing what you're doing. And you're, you're going you're gonna to get exactly where you be. Probably, you probably most like it further than what you expected. Yeah, so, you know, I, I, whatever he see, I'm, I'm, I'm going to just continue where I'm at. I'm going to continue to stay humble. And, you know, even just people, I don't even know half of them. I don't even know, never even met. But whoever he say reach out, I reach out. And I'm telling you, when they say yes, that's a blessing. That allows me to keep doing what I'm doing. And so I'm I'm just thankful that people say yes to come on. Yeah, and I'm going to tell you, I was never nervous on <laughs> Everybody is nervous. They're like, what are we going to be talking about? And some people be like, well, is there going to be some questions you're going to send me? No, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to send you questions. Yeah. We just, but, and, and that's the beauty of it. When people can see you and I, or whoever I have on here, have open, honest dialogue with mm -hmm. no hidden agendas, because I can send you fancy questions and then you can practice them. But if we want people to be free to be who they are then we have to have interviews this way where we can they can see well no i ain't always had together because like i said sometimes my attitudes stink you know and so then they won't be like well oh he is so polished he just got out together no they need to know hey i don't have some hiccups some bumps in the road but yet and still i'm still i'm still here still you know shucking and jiving and trying to make the best of my life Mm -hmm. that's and it. that's what this platform is about just mm -hmm. being who we are having fun and everybody but once people come on they see it's just me yeah, yeah just, and just having fun this <laughs> is the coffee or whatever <laughs> <laughs> it's just me and you know so i'm just grateful but i hope to shoot with you soon um it's just been, it's been a long time and like mm -hmm. I tell people, you know, I've lost some things in the course of two years, but God has truly replenished them. And I'm thankful for that. And so now I can start maneuvering how I want to, because I, you know, I, I love the camera. And that's the funny mm -hmm. thing, because when I first saw the picture, I was like, mm. but <laughs> now that I got a taste of it, it gives uh -huh. me more confidence to say mm -hmm. at 54, you still got it, girl. You still got it. Yes, you know? yes. And yes. so, and, see, I'm saying, I hate, I'm sorry, but look, people, people throw the word like they think that, well, being old has a has a number to it. Man, listen, if you're still alive and able to have fun, when you stop having fun in life, that's when you yes. get old. Yes. So, you know, other than yes. that, you're 90 years old and still having fun, you, you're, you're young. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Stop doing stuff. Now you're, now you're getting old. And stuff. Yeah. So, now, yeah, you keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna tell you, it, it was, it's, it's, it was. I'm very honored to, that you asked me to be on on your podcast. Yeah. It, um, it really means a lot to me. Uh, thank so, but that's, you, thank you. you. Know, I was nervous, and I'm like, ah, but at the same time, 
we get nervous, it's okay to be nervous and scared, but go yeah. ahead and you never yeah. know what it leads to. And you never know who's watching. And whatever. that's and that's that's this platform because you know everybody have their own form of network working. Um, Sheena said, "Awesome job! I enjoy every moment." And um, Kiara Joy said, "You did a good good job." But you know, and that's like you know, I said you don't know who's watching. And just like you know, I can't take the credit because you know, my mom said one of our friends that we were stationed with in Germany called her, and he lives in Maryland now. And he was like, "Wow!" He was like. I've been watching Donna because he'd been knowing me since you know then, and I and that's the thing I don't know who's watching. Mm -hmm, exactly. But when he called and told my mom, he was like, "She is going somewhere. She mm -hmm. is truly going somewhere." And when people inbox me and say, "Your messages, they touch me," that's mm -hmm. that's when I know I'm where I'm supposed to be. That's it. That's and that's it. why I want to get back to the people that has given to me like you just photo shoots and say hey i got this concept you want to do it because i when people do for me i want to do for them the same thing they do for me mm -hmm. and, and, and if i can be you can be on my platform and someone in texas see you and say hey i i want to shoot with him mm -hmm. and start googling these people because you know that's how it works yeah it's, it's you, exactly and that's how the networking that's how people that's how you start going different places and that's how different doors start opening when mm -hmm. we start giving back yeah exactly. and if just an hour or two can push you to the next level hey i am thankful exactly and then two people need to stop thinking because you're from a small town yes it here you can't get there yes. yes listen go out and do what you do keep doing it it may make it might take that month might take a couple of years 10 years decade yes. yeah anyway but you know keep doing what you're doing and everything like that because Thank that you. the opportunity will come yeah. so don't sit on your tail and then just let the opportunity go go by because then you know it's not it's probably not back again so just yeah no i'm gonna I'm keep pushing you know and i tell people I ain't trying to be famous, but I know I'm going somewhere. And if only one person be on here, and if one person's life is changed by the people that have been on here, then that's what God has sent me to do. He's mm -hmm. done what he needed to do. If that one person, hey, mm -hmm. that needed that message, then, hey, God gets the glory because that was meant for that person. Yes, ma'am. That's right. That was meant for that person. And so I just keep doing what I'm doing. I stay humble. And everything that I do, I put him first. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I put him first. But I am just honored. Hopefully, um, we'll get to shoot soon. I Stay so. safe out there. Stay safe out there because I'm going to come up. I'm going to start doing like you, listening to songs. And, <laughs> 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 and, get, my, and get my own um, concepts because me and Shana is supposed to get together and shoot soon. I love her so much. Um, when I met her, her and I just connected. And when we do photo shoots with Charlie, we just cut up. But um, yep. I just, I just, I just love when people can come together, network together, have fun, make magic, and mm. still respect each other in their own um, respectful places. So I'm just thankful that you, um, um, Sisterhood for Life. Yes, I'm just thankful that you came on here. Thank you, thank you, thank you for taking the time out to just just come on here with, and chit chat with me. Yeah, I appreciate I appreciate the invite. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I see there was nothing to be nervous about. I'm good. <laughs> you see, and I even got another. Um, someone had shared when you shared your video. Another lady reached out to me to recommend someone else to be on my show. Okay, okay. So thank you, thank you, thank you for that. So that's what I'm saying. You never know who's watching because somebody, when you shared the video, um, your flyer, somebody mm -hmm. came on there and asked you where you can, you know, where they can see it. And so mm -hmm. I bring that person, but then they inbox me and say, hey, what are the qualifications to be on the show? And I said, just be <laughs> honest, open and transparent. <laughs> <laughs> and so and she said well i have somebody that you know i want to recommend and i was like absolutely and so that's yeah. what it's all about sharing we're helping each other, support yes. each other. Get yes. out, get, get everything out there um like i said earlier it's not all about us all the time no it's not it's not and that's why i'm so thankful 
that I'm not a selfish person. And sometimes when, when you try to be selfish, your nature won't allow you to. Mm-hmm. Your nature uh-huh. won't allow you to, because I think when we become selfish, then God can't really do anything with us. He can't, he can't take us to the next level when we're selfish, when we don't want to get out of self. And that's why sometimes I'm like, well, I just need to be selfish sometimes and think about me. But when I do, I feel bad. Well, the thing is, sometimes you got to talk. I mean, not talk. Sometimes you got to think about yourself. Sometimes it does have to be about you. Right, that's right. A selfish way or whatever. Because you have to make sure you're good before you can help others. Um, it's like, it's like, I don't, if I go months without eating and drinking and stuff like that, I can't help my kids out because I'm weak. That's true. Definitely. Thing. So there, there's, there's a line that that's sometimes it, it's not being selfish, whatever there, there's a difference and stuff. So, you know, but I, I'm, get, I'm learning. My girlfriend tell me all the time. She was like, you always put others first. And she was like, you need to learn to say no sometimes. And you have to set your boundaries. And so I'm, I'm learning that. I, I, I'm truly learning that. But, you know, but this is who I am. And hey, because I always say in the end, I will win no matter who walks away, who stays. But I always tell my girlfriends, whoever stayed with me as I was building my house, and when the house is completed, they win when I win. All right. That's right. And that's, like- and that's, and that's how it should be with anybody. If people yeah. have stuck with us, when you win, then the people that's been there with you win too. Exactly. Exactly. Because they didn't drop off when they they was like, well, girl, Dennis, how long you been shooting? You still? And then they just drop off. But then when they see you up and see your work, they're going to be like, well, how, what, what's going on? No, no, no. Yeah. I'm like, who are you again? <laughs> <laughs> Where you come from? But no, yeah. it's truly, truly. Just keep doing amazing things. I see your work. I see your shoot. So just keep doing amazing things. Whenever you have a shoot or a concept and we all can get together again, um, let's, let's, let's make it happen. Because I do want to shoot shoot with um, Shalanda again. Um, she's a very sweet soul too. Very sweet girl. And so we can make some magic happen again. Most definitely. Most definitely. Yeah. We- Matter of fact, we, we'll be in contact about it. We're we, we going to put something together. Do, do that. Do that. But I love you, my friend. Continue to just be you. Um, stay safe if you got to go out tomorrow. Um, stay off the highways. This no, I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on how the road is. But I... <laughs> Warm, yeah, yeah but um but yeah stay stay warm because like i said i would out there try to clean off my car today i was like mm, i don't know we're doing this for doing this for nothing because it's gonna freeze back over tonight but nevertheless right. um thank you shonda thank you for the um compliment but yes we'll get together let's plan a concept and uh we can go we can go with it Okay, most definitely. So most have definitely. a good night. And like I said, I love you. Thank you for your time coming on here. And um, we just had some great conversation. Oh, yes, we did. I love you too. And I love you too. And if then I wish you have a good night. You be safe also. Oh, I'm going to be in the house. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I'm going to be in the house. Yeah. Well, if you I have will. to go out, you be safe. Be safe. I will. I will. All right. Have a good night. You too. Bye. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Hot Topics with Donna, where I interview Dennis George, Um, just an amazing person, an awesome photographer. So if you need to look him up, you can go to my page and look him up to get your wonderful photos. And tonight's word was faith. We have to have faith in whatever we do, whatever we choose to do in life, we must have faith. But you have to trust whatever you put your hands to that God is going to make it happen for you. Because if you go in and say, God, I need you to do this. I want you to do this. I desire these things or whatever it may be, growth in whatever area, you have to have the faith when you're praying to say, I trust you, Lord. I believe you. I have the faith that you're going to continue to help me in whatever area that you are desiring him to help you. Every day I tap into my faith because that's the only thing that keeps me and that has helped me thus far 
So whatever you're doing, whatever area of your life that you need um, your faith to be strengthened, ask him. He'll do it. He, he totally will do it. He won't turn you down. But we have to do our part, too. And when we go to him and ask him for mo- more faith, we have to be confident in knowing that that's what he's going to give us because at the end of the day, man will let us down, but he will never fail us. We fail him. So trust your father to say, Lord, I need you in this area of my life because I'm failing in this area of my life, and I need you to come in and show me how to be better in this particular area because we all have shortcomings. We all have things that we working on and need to be working on, but the thing about it is, are you willing to give it all to him so he can cultivate you to be the you that he desires you to be, not who you want to be or others want you to be because when we allow people to try to cultivate us to be who they want us to be or who they think we should be, that's when we get in error. And I tell you, I tried to be who people wanted me to be. It was never enough. And then you get tired, and then you get burnt out, and then you look in the mirror and say, who are you? Who are you? Will the real Donna stand up? Will the real Sheena stand up? Because when we allow people to dictate to us who we are, then we lose our sense of purpose. We lose our zeal. We lose our pride. So we have to be confident enough to say, what area do I need working on, Lord? Show me me. And I can remember a story, and I'm going to tell you this, and we're going to get off, but when you think that you have it all together and you have arrived, God has a way of showing you that you do not. Because I can remember... My late husband and I, we was having a discussion. And once we finished, I went and I started praying. And I said, Lord, I was like, just change him. Change him. I I, I want you to change him. And as easily as I said that prayer, he said to me, what about you? And I'm thinking, what about me? And at that moment, I said, I was so busy worrying about him being changed that my father had to remind me that there are some things that Donna need to change as well. So when we get so caught up in thinking that we have arrived and we are this and we are that because we're arrogant, we are prideful, when our Father truly show us who we are, it's not always pretty. It's not always wrapped in a little box that you can open and be like, oh, wow. When he show us the real, the real deal, how our heart, because he don't look at our mind. He looks at our heart. He looks at the arrogancy in your heart. He looks at the pride in your heart. He looks at the jealousy, the envy. He looks at all of those things in your heart. And then you walk around as if you have arrived. And I always say, what if he pulled the cover off you and exposed you and let everyone see the fraud that you are? Trying to pretend that you have it all together when you don't. Trying to be trying to pretend that you're up here because you're doing this or you're doing that. But at the end of the day, he's saying to to you, all that right there you're doing don't mean nothing to me because you're fake, you're fraud, and you think you're deceiving people, which most of the time we can for a little bit. But when he exposes you, what do you have? Can you hide behind your job? Can you hide behind your car where you live? All these things. He will expose you. So the question is, when he exposes you, 
what will you do? Will you humble yourself and say, you're right, I need to check me. Because I ask him every day, show me me. And if there's things in me that's not right, you show me because other people can't show me me. Only my father can show me me because when he shows me who I am and things that he desires to take out of me and put in me, then I become a better Donna. I become a better friend. I become a better mother, a daughter, a sister. But only he can do those things. But you have to be willing. You have to be a willing vessel because he's not going to twist your arm to make you do it. So my question to you is, are you a willing vessel to ask him, show me who I really am? Show me who I really am so I can be a better friend, a better father, a better husband, a better brother, sister, aunt. Because we want people to be in our lives and that are healthy. And we want to be in their lives when we're healthy. Because when we're unhealthy, we can't pour into somebody that's unhealthy. Or vice versa. So we must. Oh, sorry, Wanda. We must <clears throat> ask God to show us who we are. We must ask him who we are to show us how we can be better people. Wanda, is that better? But the question is, will you ask him? Because I'm telling you, if you ask the Father to show you who you are, he will show you. But I'm telling you, you need to be ready for what he shows you. You can look in the mirror all day long and think you got it together because I did it. I faked it. I did all of that. But when he showed me who I really was, then now I can love me. I can love the brokenness in me. Because when he showed me me, then I can start healing. And when I look in the mirror, I can say, girl, you got it together. Because my father is very pouring into me. He's telling me who I am. Even in my brokenness. So that's the thing. Are you going to be ready for him to show you who you are? Because broke people hurt healthy people. And we can't fix them. We can't. We, I've tried. You, you, you can't fix people that are broken. Only God can. You, you can't fix people that are broken. You can't fix people that are prideful. You can't fix people that are arrogant. You can't fix people that think there's nothing wrong with them. Only the Father can. And the sad thing about it is, is when he breaks us down, then we'll be like, now what? Now, everybody else has seen your brokenness, have seen your weakness, because you, we think we got it together, and we don't. And if we don't, it's okay. It is okay, because every day that we get up, we have a chance to say, Lord, okay, show me. Show me me. Show me me. So... As you're walking on this journey, whether you're saved or unsaved, ask the Father to show you who he is so you can be whole. It doesn't mean that you're not going to still have trials and some challenges. It doesn't mean that. It just means that when you do go through these trials and challenges, is that he's going to keep you grounded and he's going to say, you stick with me. I'm going to get you through this, but while you're going through it, it's a process. So in the process, you can't quit. In the process, you can't quit. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. If you stumble, get back up and still get back in the process. Because in the process is where he can start dealing with us and changing us. You're welcome, Dennis. You're so welcome. In the process is where you're healing, where you're growth, 
where you can learn to love, where you can learn to let that baggage go from your childhood, from your marriage is not working. In the process is where you will find peace and joy because he will start taking all that other stuff out and replacing it with love and kindness, everything. Because I'm telling you, I've been broken. I've been broken, and that's a terrible place to be. Because when you're broken, you can't love, you're not happy, you're always grumpy, everything is not right. Because when you're in that place, that means the brokenness has taken control of you and has control over your mind. And so now, anything that you touch or come in contact with, you affect them. You inject them with your mess. You inject them with your misery. And then you wonder why you can't go to the next level. But when you submit and say, Lord, I am a jacked up mess. Help me. And you truly mean it from your heart. He will help you. He will help you. So while we're in 2022, and we're just halfway through. I challenge you to go before the Father and say, show me where I need growth. Show me where I need correction. Show me where I need to be a better person. Show me how to love. Show me me, the real me. The me that you know that's so deep. The real me that you know that other people don't see. Because, see, he knows us inside and out. But see, the people that we hang around, the people that we live with, the people that we hang with, they only know what we show them. But if you are true to who you are, then they will see the real you, flaws and all shortcomings and all but when you're trying to hide behind the mask people don't get to see the real you they don't get to see the real you they only see what you want them to see so if you're in tune with the father he'll show you them he will expose them all you gotta do is sit back and sometimes when you can sit back and just be quiet and let people think that, oh, well, yeah, mm -hmm, you're this and you're that. And our father's saying, no, no, they're not. No, they're not. And he gives us a chance to make it right. He gives us a chance to say, you know what? My attitude stinks today. I need to go over here and ask for forgiveness. So when we can do those things, then the true us can arise. So the question is, take your mask off and say, I have failed in whatever area. And he can do whatever he wants to do with you if you allow him to. And I just thank you guys for tuning in to Hot Topics with Donna. This has truly been an amazing interview. Thank you for tuning in on this page. I know it's, you know, people was like, oh, what's going on? But thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for sharing my flyer. Thank you for always coming on here supporting me. Thank you for your interaction with my guests and I. And just thank you, thank you, thank you to all my previous guests from last year up until now. Thank you for just accepting the invitation just to grace us with your presence here on Hot Topics with Donna. We greatly, greatly appreciate it. We don't take it for granted. And I am truly humble. So until tomorrow, I will be back same time with another amazing guest here on Hot Topics with Donna, where we do an honest, open, and transparent, and where we interview ordinary people doing extraordinary things in their lives, in their community. And until tomorrow, if God's willing, we will be back here tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. And to all of you guys, have a good night. Be safe on the highway if you have to go out. Love you.